have an idea, show it someone, show it to someone I feel that will give you superior idea, will help you mold your idea into yeah, results. Talent. Well, you've not accepted that that's combine um, your passion for arts and medicine to do medical illustrations. And wow. I, I, yeah. <laughs> As a person, I can't do this alone, but if you come together as, as Africans, we can push our color out there. We can, we can, we can make the world hear us. Yeah, so this yes. is no longer my project, but should be Africa's project. At least let our color come out. I realize that most drawings were only white. I'm 25 years old. Wow. Um, I'm from a Boeing state in Nigeria. Boeing state, of course, here in Nigeria. Um, mm. I, I did a first degree in chemistry at the University of Uyo. Uh, so I'm an income medical student at the Key Medical University of Ukraine. Um, mm. So that's pretty much about me. I'm, I'm, I'm the creative director at the Association of Future African Neurosurgeon. And I'm also the wow. chief medical director at the Journal of Global Neurosurgery, and the um, conference officer at Brain Book Charity. A whole mm. lot, a whole lot, yeah. <laughs> uh, you must be a very passionate person. Yeah, of course. Right? Yeah, passion keeps us going, of course. How was your passion all about neurosurgery? Yes, pediatric neurosurgery. Okay. I don't know, when I heard of the black fetus, I was like, hey, all our textbooks. In fact, the data we are using in physiology, most times is a study they've done abroad, not what they've done here. I was happy and I was excited. So please, what was your motivation? Like what made you to go into that stretch? All right. Um, I mean, many people ask me that. So it's, it's been a difficult journey. Wow. So um, I started medical education last year, July, during the lockdown. Um, so that's because uh, I didn't have money and um, I wanted to you know, get some money during the lockdown. And I, right, right back then I was, a, I was a graphic designer. So I wow. reached out to this group on Facebook, the Association of Future African Neurosurgeons. So I reached out to them that I saw that design, that design were not nice. I would love, I would love them to pay me for, them, for me to be a designer. You know? So, and they said there was no money to pay me that. Okay, I said, okay, good, so let me, volunteer. I just quickly said I wanted to volunteer, you know. So um, I was like, great. So um, so I didn't know that the person that responded to my message was the founder of AFAN. So wow. um, yeah, he responded and said, okay, I've seen your artwork. Because, because I was also an artist also. I draw a pencil and pen. So he said, mm -hmm. I see your artwork and I know you love medicine. Why not combine um, your passion for arts and medicine to do medical illustrations? And wow. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Why not combine um, your passion for arts and medicine to do medical illustrations? And wow. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I that before in my entire life. I had never heard of what those drawings were. So uh, I had big interest. So in the quest of learning, I you know, searched online to teach myself because I'm a self-taught illustrator. I taught myself everything I know to do. So in the course of learning, I realized that most drawings were all in white stone. And I reached, mm. out back, I reached out to him and I told him. So he said, yeah, so let's work towards that. In fact, he gave me the whole idea. Let's work towards making our drawings black skin. And uh, so that's how, that's how all, all it all started. And uh, so I kept doing that. And it became very difficult for me because when I was learning, as I earlier said, I'm a self-taught illustrator. So I, I didn't have reference. I didn't have what to fall back to. To, to teach myself because all drawings in white skin and I didn't have comparisons or reference to, to black skin. So very difficult. So I, I, and I'm thinking as a challenge and as a problem I was going to solve. So I kept on doing it 
from last year, last year and last year, I kept doing it to get, became very viral um, just a recent. So that's just pretty much how I started. Wow. I don't know. I, I am just excited. I can really, really excited. I don't know. I'm excited about the whole thing. Seriously. Yeah. I'm, I'm so, so excited. Somehow I'll be like, is, the, is this how, is this like God, they kind of telling somebody that this is where I'm taking you to. And somehow I'll be like, <laughs> I'll be like, ah, this is just God helping us in this country. At least let our color come out. Honestly. Yeah. Honestly. Okay, so what, what were your challenges? Like, you did you, is it that you studied a woman that was pregnant? Or you imagine this and then do it? All right, so um, I'll start from my challenges if I go to how I created that. Um, okay. Um, when I started drawing, I didn't have a, a drawing tablet. I had just mm-hmm. an old computer and a computer mouse. So that's what I used a what, to draw. sorry? A computer mouse. Okay, okay. So normally um, professionals use graphic tablets to draw, but I, I, I couldn't afford that. They were actually very expensive. So I could only get a computer mouse and that's what I used to learn. So um, in the quest of learning, I had a lot of challenges. One, power supply. Of course, here in Nigeria, you know that there's no power supply. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. So I, I needed somewhere I could um, find light to always work every day. So. I, I would, from where I lived to my church was about a one hour distance. So I did that for one good year, going to church every day to find power supply to walk. And um, so difficult one, difficult one. And uh, being that I was using a computer mouse to also draw, it made it very difficult for me. So those, those were one of the challenges that I had also. And that those drawings were also a white skin, was a big challenge for me also. But I mean, I didn't use that as an excuse. I just had to keep on working. And for most times, most of I, um, when I walk, I feel that I feel I'm not working hard enough. So I was always too hard on myself. <laughs> I was always too hard on myself. I needed, I needed to work 24 seven. Like it was, I became so addicted. Like, I became so um, addicted to my work that if I stay a day without working, I felt I was gonna, I was gonna fail. That's how wow. I saw my work as. So it was a challenge for me, but. Um, up until when I did this drawing, I did this drawing after being denied a visa. So I applied for visa um, to Ukraine oh. and I was denied a visa. I had spent so much money. In fact, I spent almost everything I had for my GoFundMe to do the visa and I was denied the oh. visa. So in, in that, that moment of my, my pains, I just, I was struggling myself. Should I do this drawing or not? And all of that. So I quickly, um, I quickly picked up the drawing and, um, I started doing it. I started doing it, and uh, I mean, I had so much struggle to do that. But that's the kind. Uh, I mean, because <laughs> I, I mean, it's, it's amazing, it's amazing. But so um, when I did, I was struggling myself. Can I do this? Can I? Can I not do this? But I remember the idea drawing. I was actually struggling myself. So, but I decided to just do it. I mean, I wasn't to lose actually. So I did it, I posted it online. Uh, I slept, I slept, and I wasn't expecting to go viral for like a week. It didn't go viral. So it was I a day see, I just woke wow. Up. Yeah, I woke up in one day like that from the I think it just blew up. Uh, <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't contain it. It's, it's all as if the king was going through the book and then he saw your name. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then he was like, ah, we've not rewarded this person. Something Maybe. like that. But then I see passion and hard work, honestly. Never give up. Yeah. I see that. I see yeah. that. So is it that you imagined it and drew it, or you saw it somewhere? I, I, um, um, I saw a reference somewhere. So okay. I had to recreate that. Okay, I had to recreate that in my own perspective, draw it in my own way, and um, add some anatomy to it also. And so that's how I created that. Wow. <laughs> like that, that's just beautiful. That's art medicine. No knowledge is a waste, honestly. Yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> no knowledge is a waste. So now, like, you know, in this country, maybe if you want to do something, they'll be like, I want to do this, but this is Niger. I want to do this, but this is Nigeria. So this is your work now. 
it's like an encouragement to many, especially youth that want to do some things. And they will just be like, there are no resources. This is Nigeria. This one, no, this is Nigeria. You know, we use that a whole lot. So please, how do you encourage youth that actually want to make a change, a massive change like this? But then they believe this is Nigeria. I'm expecting this sort of drawing in, in our textbooks, medical textbooks, yes. Maybe the ones that our children will use if our children are coming to medicine. <laughs> yeah, of because, course. <laughs> because honestly, we always use um, foreign um, diagrams. I don't know. Maybe it's even a form of racism, but we don't talk about that. We Maybe. Don't. We, we don't, don't talk about, about that. Maybe it's even a form of racism, honestly. <laughs> but we just cram it. Oh, sorry, we understand it. Let me not say we cram it. We, re we study it, we understand it. <laughs> and we write it in our exams. It's a form of racism. Let me just put it that way. So hmm. um, what's your like advice to all these guys that are coming up? Uh, but then they will just be like, this is Nigeria. Ah, I can't do this, it's Nigeria. <laughs> What's your advice, please? Um, so the issue that Nigerians, we are not looking what to, to realize what we have because mm. we look down ourselves, we compare ourselves to the Western world. The truth that Nigerians, we are blessed. We have the, yes. we have the, the what else we have all it takes to raise a life. And um, so, uh, you know, I mean, I'm a typical um, picture of one who has struggled and have made it to the top by the help wow. of God. Because, <laughs> and um, this is a call to every Nigerian out there because you don't have to seize the opportunity. Like personally, I'm told that I don't look at opportunities. You get, and, and I'm always striving to be better and better and better because I, I mean, a typical Nigerian person is, is, is happy with where they are. You just yes. settle down for the immediate thing. I mean, I knew that I wanted to be a medical doctor, but not just a non-medical doctor, because there are a lot of medical doctors out there, but you have to be the one with the difference. And how? You have to look inward, look for what you have, develop what you have, because see, some people say, I don't have talent. That's not true. <laughs> because, yes, people say that a lot, because I, I see yeah. a lot of young people in the world. The fact that we all have talent, but we've not accepted that that's our talent. Your talent might not be drawing. It, yes. It, yes, my creativity. But the fact that you can sit down and solve problems, it's, it's your talent. So this is just um, a call to Nigerians out there that let's identify problems. Let's have because Nigerians we don't like being mentored. That's the problem. We feel yes. that we have monopoly of knowledge. We we know everything. We want to you know grow in our own isolation. That's the problem. Because normally, basically, I'm a product of mentorship. I'm a product of good mentorship, and. Everything I've had to do is because I was mentored into it. So um, it's a call to every Nigerian out there. If you do, if you choose a field I want to be pronounced in, find good mentorship, develop yourself in that area. I mean, and no knowledge, as Ella said, no knowledge is a waste because yes, I as a graphic designer. But today I will tell you that the skills I learned from graphic design was helping me in my in medical location today. You see. And it's, <laughs> so if, if Nigerians could learn to pay attention to themselves, love themselves better, I mean, give themselves the value that they deserve, I mean, Nigerians would make it out there. Because I, I, I don't know Nigerians, in the travel outside the country, they're always making a lot of impact. But, that, but, but it shouldn't always be that way. Even while here in yeah. Nigeria, you could speak impact by looking at the problems in the environment and creating solutions out of them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, and and, and uh, the one thing I there's a quote I dislike. People say that there's a quote that says, um, "Don't tell people your plan, show them your results." I dislike that quote because that's a typical Nigerian mindset. How would you not wow. tell people your plan? If you don't tell people your plans, how would you not support you or, or give you more ideas to develop your plan? So that's just it's a greedy man idea, and, and that's what Nigerians do. So oh if, yeah, if idea. And if you feel that like your results should always go on to speak, doesn't make sense. We have an idea, you share with someone, share with someone that you feel that like will give you superior idea, will help you mold your idea into results. They, of course, turn your idea into results. So it's not just about um, confining yourself to just uh, pushing yourself alone 
Because I know normally see people say that if you want to go faster in life, um, go alone. If you want to go far in life, go with people. Yeah. So you want to work fast. I want to make impact, teamwork, get mentorship from people, learn to work with people. And that's just Africa's problem. That's just Nigeria's problem. We don't like collaborate. We don't like. That's a problem. Yes, and again, what I've noticed is, like, if people want to learn a skill, for example, they tend to look at the skill that someone else is learning. Let me use makeup, for example. You know, if somebody started and then started like, um, thinking of being a makeup artist and all. How oh, recently I noticed that many girls, any small thing, they go and want to learn how to do makeup. <laughs> I think that is the only problem in the society. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> No, you see, you see the problem with Nigerians, um, and we put money first before learning. The idea. So you always ask oh. what's in for me first. So what's, what's in for me? How much do I make from this? Because I remember when I was going to, I, I decided to go into medical field, not because there's money. And of course, you believe that most, most medical doctors do never have money. <laughs> yes. yes. So, so, so people discourage me and say, you're going to take. I take this money, this money, this money. Take. I tell you, it's not about the money. It's about the passion. And yes. That mistake people do in Africa. We go into things because of the money we get from it. And at the point, yes. we don't have the courage to sustain through it. So let yeah. let our let our passion drive us. And when our passion drives us, we don't turn our passion into purpose. See, but we're yeah. making meaning out of it. Nice. Nice. So thank you so much. Thank you so so much for joining us today. We are grateful. It's a pleasure. All right. Okay. I don't know if you have any other things to say. Um, okay. So it just um, just a word of uh, encouragement out there. I mean, it's it's I, I, I'm, the change is already here. And I'm happy that people are already... I mean, I had a, a couple of comments that from now, people say from now on, that drones will all be in black illustration. It's amazing Honestly. that the change, the change is already here. And... Um, this is a call to Nigerians out there. If you have a skill, come together, let's work together. Let's push our skin out there because as a person, I can't do this alone, but if you come together as, an Af as, Af as Africans, we can push our color out there. We can, we can, we can make the world hear us. Yeah, so this yes. is no longer my project, but should be Africa's project. And thank you so much for having me. You get it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so... Thank you so much. We are grateful you joined us today. And if you're watching this video, please like, subscribe, and share this video so that people will get to see it. And then in this channel, we'll be having nice, nice content. So please, it will be good if you share this video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> okay.